floating above mountain ranges is that anything you've ever considered. This is the actual deal, not some made-up fantasy. Sure, you can make it happen. But you'll need to visit China to do it. Obviously, in today's world, this would not be conceivable without the networks linked to hydroelectric plants and dams. China is the source of almost a third of the world's hydroelectric capacity. Just pretend that out of the 1,360 gigawatts that the whole globe produces, 391 gigawatts come from China. No wonder, given the abundance of hydroelectric plants in the nation, including the Three Gorges Dam, the biggest hydroelectric power plant in the world with an installed capacity of 22.5 gigawatt, this is not unexpected. It is safe to say that the Chinese were the ones who came up with the technology that could make ships float above mountains. The Three Gorges Dam is considered a technical masterpiece in China. The world's largest dam, the Three Gorges Dam, extends 2,309 kilometers and stands at an impressive 181 meters in height. Constructed completely of steel and concrete, it sets a new world record with 21 million cubic yards of concrete and has the equivalent steel weight of 63 Eiffel Towers, 463,000 metric tons. Huge cargo ships can utilize the dam's five-tier ship lock, which is also the biggest in the world, to climb 40 floors in five stages in order to pass through it. The 2015 built ship elevator can accommodate smaller ships and boats. Tourists flock to the area merely to witness these feats of engineering. With an output of 22,500 megawatts in 2012, the Three Gorges Dam was officially recognized as the most productive hydroelectric dam in the world. The dam's ship lift and locks have helped make shipping safer. And the yearly volume of river cargo has doubled from 10 million to 100 million tons, drastically reducing transportation costs. In addition to these tangible advantages, the dam also represents China's technological might. As one of the few man-made objects that can be seen from orbit, it holds great symbolic value for the Chinese people. China ranks high among the world's most impressive engineering nations. The Gupatan Dam, which is located in the southwestern region of the country, is an excellent illustration of how to successfully blend creativity and functionality. Let's explore the ins and outs of this remarkable Chinese achievement to find out what makes it so intriguing. Construction on the Giju Gupatan Hydropower Station's navigation project commenced in 2011. Complex geology and challenging equipment production, installation, and commissioning processes were some of the challenges it surmounted during its 10-year duration. It was no simple task to construct in the mountainous terrain of Giju. Innovative approaches were necessary because to the karst landscape's infamous caves and unstable soils. The Gupatan Dam is a massive undertaking with the potential to generate an impressive 3,000 megawatts of electricity. For the sake of the towns and agriculture along the lower Wu River, the dam does double duty as both a renewable energy source and a flood control mechanism. It exemplifies how infrastructure that is thoughtfully designed can yield numerous advantages. Envision an elevator that can transport ships as heavy as 500 tons to heights of 100 meters. It sounds like something from a futuristic film, doesn't it? Towards the power station's left bank is where the navigation project for the Giju Gupatan hydropower station is situated. The approach channels upstream and downstream, the three-stage vertical ship lift, and the two-stage intermediate channel make up its three-stage design. A 500-ton motor barge is the design representative ship type along a line that is 2,306 meters long. Concurrently, the famed Super Elevator at the Three Gorges Dam is 13 meters lower than the world's largest vertical ship lift at 127 meters, which is part of the Giju Gupatan Hydropower Station Navigation Project. A 500-ton cargo ship lowered itself into the Giju Gupatan Hydropower Station's first stage ship lift on June 22, 2021. Having an elevator like this is more than just impressive. 
It stands as an example of how engineering may alter the course of nature to create chances for economic growth. On the border between Brazil and Paraguay at 14,000 megawatts, Itapu stands head and shoulders above Gupatan, which only manages 3,000 megawatts. Going beyond mere power generation, Gupatan's innovative shiplift and integration with regional economic mentors set it apart. Gupatan becomes a significant logistical route after the shiplift. An emblem of long-term viability is the Gupatan Dam. Gupatan is more than just a dam. It exemplifies the power of infrastructure to improve people's lives and spur regional growth. Looking at how other ships go around the globe is up next. The ship lift at Krasnoyarsk, Russia. A huge underwater ship lift is what it looks like. The maximum weight that this lift can accommodate is 1,500 tons, and it can ascend and descend 124 meters. The top pool part is 305 meters long. The lower pool is 1,190 meters long. The turning device is 105 meters long and the track at the repair and installation site is 133 and a half meters long, for a total length of 1,747 and a half meters of installed tracks. In order to accomplish this, the ship is allowed to float into a vast chamber that is filled with water. After then, this chamber travels along a slanted track, which may be compared to a roller coaster but is significantly slower and more stable. It moves at a speed of 1 meter per second, which may appear to be slow. Nevertheless, keep in mind that it is transporting an entire ship. Since 1976, this lift has been providing assistance to ships as they transit the Yenisei River. It has made it feasible for huge cargo to travel through places that would otherwise be blocked by the dam. In addition to being the only one of its sort in Russia, it is an essential component of the country's river transportation infrastructure. The Falkirk Wheel in Scotland is an absolute must-see if you're in the mood for something eerily futuristic. As amazing as it sounds, this is the sole spinning boat lift in the world. This lift isn't your ordinary up-and-down kind. It revolves like a gigantic boat-sized ferris wheel. The two canals, which are 35 meters apart in height, are cleverly linked by it. It may take nearly a full day for boats to navigate the 11 locks that existed prior to the construction of the wheel. This technological wonder has reduced the previously lengthy trip to a matter of minutes. Not only is the Falkirk wheel very practical, but it is also visually stunning. With an annual visitor count of over 50,000, it has grown into a significant tourist destination. Surprisingly, considering its massive size, it consumes hardly enough energy to boil eight kettles of water when in operation. The next one is the Streppy Thieu boat lift. Despite the fact that Belgium is a very tiny country, it is home to one of the tallest boat lifts in all of Europe. With a height of 150 meters, the contemporary lift is made up of two enormous caissons, which are water troughs. These water troughs are responsible for transporting boats from the lower segment of the canal to the higher level, which is located more than 73 meters above, and vice versa. Every single one of these enormous carriers has the capacity to lift more than 8,000 tons of liquid and ship weight. The extraordinary nature of this lift lies in the fact that it links two significant river basins, so making it significantly less difficult for large ships to navigate the waters of Belgium. Before this lift was constructed, ships had to maneuver through a network of aging canals that were rather tiny in size. On the other hand, they can now take a short elevator journey instead, which will save them a significant amount of time and effort. The way in which modern engineering can transform transportation is perfectly demonstrated by this example. <music>